The United Nations called for a halt to the flow of weapons to Myanmar on Friday. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres urged the military to respect the November election results and release political detainees, including leader Aung San Suu Kyi. The UN General Assembly adopted a resolution after watering down an initial draft with stronger language, calling for an arms embargo. This comes several months after the military seized power in a coup on February 1st, calling the election a fraud, despite international observers saying the ballot was fair. Nine Southeast Asian countries called for the language to be removed. Instead, they agreed on calling on member states to, quote, prevent the flow of arms into Myanmar. Myanmar's UN ambassador, Cho Mo Tun, said the decision was long overdue. We are so disappointed that it took almost three months to adopt this watered-down resolution, even though it does not include many important points to save lives of the people in Myanmar. The UN Special Envoy on Myanmar also warned that the opportunity to reverse the military takeover is narrowing and the risk of a large-scale civil war. The military have killed more than 860 people since the coup, according to the Assistance Association for Political Prisoners. Security forces have killed more than 860 people since the coup, according to the Assistance Association for Political Prisoners. Oh,